My next guest has got a huge fight coming up here against Kevin Holland at UFC Fight Night on October 2nd. It's Kyle Dawkins back here on the program. Kyle, how's it going, man? Going good. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Always appreciate you taking the time, man. Uh, just your excitement level and getting this fight is a pretty big name to fight uh, in the UFC and Kevin Holland, who's a guy that seems everyone wants to fight. Yeah, right. It, it, was, a little, it was a little bit of a surprise to me. Um, but... You know, I'm not going to say no to it. He's got a number next to his name, so I have to say yes, right? Yeah, no, for both sure. Losing streak, so we're both like, he's on a two-fight losing streak. I'm on a one fight. So I think it's kind of how like, we got matched up. Um, kind of shows that the UFC has has some belief in me. Um, and I'm going to go right at him on October 2nd. Um, I was going to say, like, do you, did you like the style matchup right off the bat? Because obviously, you know, you're known for your wrestling. That's something he struggled with. You know, he even went to AKA for a bit. He only lasted or he said he only wanted to, you know, he was only there for like a week or something. So that must have excited you as well as is just the style matchup itself. Yeah, of course. You know, it, um, I think the fight plays into my it plays into my side heavily. Um, I like to put you up against the cage, take you down and submit you. And that kind of that kind of seems to be his kryptonite. Um, you know, he hasn't fought in a. Uh, since I think like October, November, maybe of last year. So, mm -hmm. you know, he's taking some time off. He, he's probably gotten a lot better at his, at his defense and everything like that. But, you know, the gameplay is not going to change for me. When did you find out? It seemed like you got a lot of notice for this fight. Yeah. Uh, a while ago. Um, I think it, it might've been like maybe like a month after my last fight. Okay. Uh, they had called and just asked and I was, I mean, I was surprised, but you know, I, you can't say no. So, Ready to rock and roll. Uh, let's talk yeah. about that last fight quickly. Phil Haas, I know it didn't go your way. What did you learn the most from that fight? Uh, I guess just like when I come out flat, I still have to come out and perform. You know, I can't just fight to to fight. You know, I have to fight to win every single time. So, yeah, that's probably it. Um, yeah, I mean, he dominated the whole fight. Hats off to him. He did a great job. Uh, and I'm, I just need to get back in there and uh, and get this win on October 2nd. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think you've had an opponent that's been as sort of charismatic and like such a good self promoter as Holland. I, I don't. I'm just looking at your resume, trying to think of that. Is this something you're anticipating? Of maybe some trash talk going into this fight? Something you're not really used to? Is that something you're even thinking about going into this fight? I mean, I expect him to talk. He's talked every single fight. I, I've I've been watching his fights on on Fight Pass all the time, and he's been he talks like regardless of who you are or whatnot. So I mean, I expect to go in there and I expect him to run his mouth. But I know that as long as he's talking, you know, I'm winning the fight. So. He can talk all at once, but I have to go to work. Um, as far as training camp, anything different for this one or just keeping it kind of business as usual, training with your nah. brother, Chris, and, and everyone else over uh, over at your camp? Yeah, same people. Nothing's changed. Um, I don't really have to change anything. I'm not a big believer in uh, bringing people in or, or anything like that. I have a lot of guys at the gym that, that are built like Holland, that are built like my size. Um, so I've just been training more with them. You know, that's, that's about it. Any past opponents remind you of Holland at all in terms of the style matchup? Uh, I don't know. I mean, sorry about that. My dog's taking. No it. worries. He's thirsty. I don't. I don't, know, I don't want him to be dehydrated. Uh, you know, today at all, just because you're doing this interview. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I guess Brendan Allen. I mean, that. He lost Which is the, actually I mean, an fight. interesting fight because I think people forget how that fight went where yeah. Brendan did win, but Kevin won the first round, right? Like Kevin was looking pretty good early on and then Brendan was just able to submit him, which I mean is, you know, something that's, you know, been sort of a kryptonite of Kevin Holland throughout his career is the yeah. ground game and, and the wrestling, right? Yeah, I think just Brendan took a better advantage of the jiu-jitsu scrambles as he did with when, against me, you know? Uh, I took advantage of the jiu-jitsu scrambles that we had to do. Um, I have to take full control of all of that um, on October when I fight Holland, you know, I know that he likes to scramble and explode up when he can out of different positions. And I need to just take advantage of those and, and just make sure that I kind of minimize those weight cut. I assume that's going well, lots of notice. I don't know if you get the prep meals or not, but how do you go about weight cutting? Uh, as of right now, I'm just working with, uh, John Poppy, who is, uh, he actually, he's out in Vegas right now. Um, he's a Lockhart guy, I believe. Oh, cool. Um, oh, I didn't know so he works when, with Lockhart. He used to fight, right? Or he still fights. Yeah. Yeah. I think he just recently fought, uh, he just recently fought a couple weeks ago, actually. Um, but yeah, he, he, he kind of does all my meals when I fly out to Vegas. Um, but beforehand he has been like a meal plan and everything like that. So yeah, weight's low. I'm 203, 204 right now. So not too heavy, not too, not too light or kind of right where I need to be. Um, but yeah, I, I, everything, every time I work with him, it's smooth sailing. Um, I worked with them. The first time I worked with them was the Allen fight. Um, and I've worked with them ever since. So. He, he, what he does is, is magic. So I'm just thankful for him. How did you link up with him? Uh, my manager, Hector Castro, uh, used to, I believe manage him as well. 
Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That's how we kind of kind of connected. That's great. Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, my brother, uh, my coach, Will Martinez, and then my other training partner who I'm flying out. Uh, he's a brown butt at my gym. Uh, Jim Morris, his name is. Um, he's kind of got the style of Holland, so I'm having him come out and just uh, using him as like an extra body to drill with and just get that Holland feel. How do you, how do you uh, envision the fight playing out? Just me dominating every single every single aspect of the fight. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to go in there any differently than I usually do. I'm going to go in there, go at him, put him against the cage, and, and just look to take him down and beat him up. Um, he's got very good boxing. Uh, he's very very good defensively off of his back on the ground, and he can get up very easily. Uh, but I have to take, like I said before, I have to take advantage of all that. And uh, yeah, I just see I see myself either finishing the fight or just coming out with a with a decision win. You know. I'm not really going to force anything or anything like that as long as uh, whatever comes to me comes. So, And I know, obviously, you're, you're not the same as Marvin Vittori or Derek Brunson. You guys have different styles. But do you think the blueprint is out on how to beat Holland now? Because like, it's been two performances now where it's similar fights where you know you take him down, you control him. It seems like that's the way to go to beat him. Do you feel like that's sort of out there now? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, it'd be stupid of me not to try to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It would be stupid of me not to, not to take advantage of, of, of things that he's not good at. And we've seen lately that he's not good at you know, wrestling. And it's, yeah, it's, I'm not going to go out there and be like, oh yeah, I'm going to strike with them. You know, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to put them against the cage and take them down and beat them up. You know, that's the game plan. That's the game plan is probably all of his opponents have against them. So there it is. <laughs> do you want to get one more fight in this year? Is that kind of what you're looking at? Or do you, would you rather sort of wait, you know, enjoy the holidays and then reassess for, for next year? Um, I mean, I guess I would, I would hopefully early next year, maybe January or February. I mean, as long as everything goes well and I'll walk out of the fight with no bruises or a bad eye like I have now, but yeah. Okay. Uh, probably January, February. Well, the reason I asked, I saw you got engaged back in July. Congratulations. Um, right. and, and do you have the date picked out yet or what, what's the latest on that? Yeah. April, uh, April 28th, 2023 is when we plan. April 28th is our anniversary. Um, so we didn't want to have the wedding next year because it's a Thursday. So she wants to have it on a Friday, of course. So whatever, it's a wedding day, so she can plan it whenever she wants. That's good. And I guess that kind of sucks with the fighting, because obviously you don't want to have a fight close to it because you got to get the wedding photos and all that. Like, I don't know how fighters do it. It's pretty tough, right? Yeah, that's what she said. She's like, she, we have to make sure that I don't have any fights scheduled around there or like, no, like make sure I fight before it and that I'm not in camp before that or anything like that. So we'll okay. figure it out. Okay. And I imagine no nerves there, not, not like uh, going into a fight or anything like that. You guys have been together for a while, right? Yeah, not at all. You know, we've been together for 10 years. Um, it'll be actually be 10 years next year. Uh, it's been a long time coming, you know. Um, but yeah, she's been with me from the very beginning. Uh, she's really just like, like, she's just pushed me to be better. Um, I can't thank her enough. That's why I love her. And that's why I'm getting married to her. Because, you know, she's also my best friend. So it's kind of cheesy, but. No, you know, it's it not, is. man. Hey, that good for you. And, and you know, it's kind of cool because, you know, we heard that like with Dustin Poirier and his wife, right? She was there from the very beginning. And so it must be cool that you guys have got to, you know, see each other throughout the ups and downs. Because I know, you know, it wasn't always, you know, being a UFC fighter. I'm sure there were, you know, driving out to regional events and things like that. So that must be kind of cool. Yeah, she was there from my amateur days when I was like, oh, and two or oh, and three as an amateur. She was still there, still believed in me and everything like that. Ever since I turned pro, like she knew that I was going to be in the UFC and like, I think she has more belief in me than I have in myself sometimes. So, but it's great. Shout out to the future Dawkins, uh, Mrs. Dawkins, I should say. Um, and, and kind of on that note as well, uh, any any fighters going to be in your wedding party? I, I met, is your brother going to be your best man or how, how's that going to work? Yeah, my brother's going to be my best man. Um, but yeah, it's the only fighter that'll be in my wedding party. Is Chris going to throw you a, a bachelor party or no? <sighs> oh, I don't know. Can't talk about it on here. Probably. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, he's a cop too. He can't get in trouble. Like, you know, he can't do something too crazy, right? So, you know, yeah. at least at least that's a good thing about having a brother who's a cop. Like, you know, he's not going to do anything crazy because like he's got a reputation as well, right? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good. We'll any other, it, any other, we'll keep, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. We'll just keep it low key. Yeah. No, just, you know, go to like a sports bar or something. I don't know, whatever yeah. works. So do something like that. Any other fighters going to be in your wedding party at all? Uh, no, just buddies from the gym. That's about it. My, my one buddy's actually um, in the army right now. He's he should be home, uh, but he'll be back and he'll be he'll be in my my party too. But that's the only that's the only army guy. Everybody else is just gym guys. And uh, last question: um, What's downtime looking like? Any TV shows you're getting into? Anything like that? Watching any sports? What's what's on the Kyle Dawkins downtime routine these days? I don't know. I don't. I I don't know. I've been, I've been streaming a lot. I've been streaming on uh, Twitch a lot, just playing video games. Oh yeah, uh, nice. Playing, when did you get uh, When did you get on that? I don't think you did that the last time we uh, talked, or did you? No, actually, I. Well, I mean, like, 
I, I made an account and everything like that, but I just started like actually like committing to it fully, maybe like a month or two ago. You know, I'm kind of doing it in between in between practices uh, every single day from like like 12 to 4, 12 to 5. I'm trying to do it as much as I can. Um, I have to get a camera too, so I have to get a camera to stream. Um, but as of right now, you can just kind of like watch me play. Uh, G Fuel also hit me up and sent me a care package, so that's nice. that's a start, right? So. Now, do you think the fact that you're streaming, because I know you're probably, I'm assuming, playing like a like Call of Duty or something, or what are you playing yeah. on there? Yeah, I, I play Warzone. Now, has this helped the trash talk game leading into the Kevin Holland fight? Because this is a key thing, right? If Kevin's going to talk some smack, I'm sure you're learning a bit of that uh, playing Call of Duty. There's a lot of kids out there who have, you know, <laughs> kind of say whatever they want when they're online, right? Yeah, I try. I try, but these kids are ruthless online. You know, they, they, they don't hold back for anything. So, uh, I mean... If they knew who they were talking to, I'm sure they wouldn't be saying that. <laughs> exactly, that's exactly it. Yeah, there, no way they'd say this to a UFC. No way you could, yeah. you know, destroy them. But uh, you certainly brought in this interview, Kyle. Really appreciate the time, man. Anyone you want to thank? Any sponsors? Any social media? I'll give you the last word. Yeah, just everybody at the gym. Um, I have a couple of sponsors. Uh, Antrim Electric, uh, Prime Nutrition's been hooking me up with supplements that are, you know, you saw they're approved and everything like that. So they're always great to help. Um, AM Fleet Service, who is my buddy Angelo, who uh, you know, just like a local. Um, fixes like my cars and stuff like that. Um, and then just G Fuel for sending me the care package and I appreciate everything. So thank you everybody.